Robert, this is a fascinating story because it takes us into that next generation of transportation. It may not be people, but it's goods. What exactly is so special about the Einride story, given everything that we've seen around AI in the last couple of years? No, it's great to be here. I mean, what we're trying to do with Enride is really to shape the future and rewrite, obviously, transport. The biggest business opportunity for both AI and autonomous is the transport of goods. People love their cars, but when it comes to goods, it's a credible business opportunity. And it's just going to give us more sustainable, more competitive transport, and it will literally reshape the world. Electric trucks are something that we are somewhat familiar with here in the U.S., but for your company, it's about bringing some of that attention towards many other companies out there. We just talked about the partnership that you guys have inked. Who are your customers and just how committed are they to this type of technology? But our customers is the shippers, the people who want to transport goods, the people that want to get access to digital, electric, and autonomous technology. We have a great, uh, our biggest market is the, actually the U.S. We have uh, great customers like uh, Mesh Geo Appliances in the U.S. And for us, it's about dedicating and giving them a competitive pricing and uh, high quality services. And our commitment for our clients is huge. And this is not driven by a uh, sustainability angle. It's one of the really great side effects of this. What it's driven by is access to technology and cost, long-term cost comparative, cost competitive transport. Commercial EVs are just the first step for you guys in this long trip. How much does autonomous trucking factor in and how exactly do you prepare for that and fund for it? What kind of R&D and what kind of money has to be spent to make autonomous trucking a reality in, say, the next five to ten years? I mean, for me, it's already a reality. We are live in operations, both in North America and in Europe. This is a gradual change, and it's going to be driven by the business case itself. It's about finding scalable models, and that's why we've been focusing and working very closely with the customers. So when others have been focusing on the R&D aspects of just getting this to a future technology, we've been focusing on taking a gradual approach, working with real commercial use cases, and taking uh, increasing complexity on when it comes to autonomous. Bottom line, this transition will be driven by a, the business case and the business underlying if it can have a good market fit. And that's what's been number one priority for us. Now we can do the R&D, we can do the commercial applications because we have the demand, we have the customers, and also the backing of investors for it.